What is happening, guys? It is a brisk 44 degrees out here this morning, but the sun is shining. It's beautiful. We've got some new wheels for the flat nasty this morning, and we are hoping that we can get the wheels and tires that are on it now off and get them along with these new wheels hauled over to a wheel and tire shop over here to get them mounted and balanced this morning. And hopefully it's pretty quick. And then we can get to putting those on that truck today because, well, of course, we're not gonna leave it on the stocks. I'm pretty excited about it. We've never done this setup on a truck. And I think it's actually, take it back. We've never done this setup on a giveaway truck. I did this on my first truck I ever had, my first diesel I ever had, my, my bad, in terms of um, offset and stuff. Let's get these wheels loaded up in the truck and pull on over to the barn. get all the wheels and tires off of the truck it's currently sitting on jack stands the jack and some blocks don't worry it's okay i'm a professional i've done this before very clean new brake line brackets and brake lines and all that stuff so they did a good job it looks really good under here so we're gonna get these things hauled over there and hopefully they'll swap these around let's go get these things swapped around i'm pretty excited about it well we got the wheels and tires dropped off and they said it'll be about one o'clock before they're done and it's only 9 30 right now so Hopefully they'll be done then and then we can get those things thrown on that truck. Just got a bunch of mowing done, got the back pasture mowed. Look at those stripes, that's what I'm talking about. Backyard, everything got mowed. Still waiting on the wheels and tires to be mounted and balanced for this thing, but I thought about trying to start the Alice Chalmers up again. Um, it's been sitting out overnight, but I thought maybe I'd see if this thing held a charge overnight. Turn the fuel back on, neutral. Well, it doesn't want to turn over with the pole, so let's see if see if I can start it by hand. This thing here. That's pretty cool. I've never used that thing before. I don't know if he ever used it either, but that's pretty cool. And here they are, the new Anthem 17 by nines. So excited, so excited. Little bit of a lip, not much, just a little, just a little lip. And I think it's gonna be the perfect look for what I'm trying to go with with this truck. What I'm trying to accomplish with this thing is to make it a super functional and capable work truck. Here they are, the new 17 by nine Anthem Intimidators. Now I know there's gonna be a lot of questions about this wheel and tire setup and why I went with what I did. And let me kind of go over that here. There's a couple of things. A, I wanted to keep this truck more as like a work truck oriented project for the winner of this truck. I want it to be set up for work. So we're gonna be still putting those towing airbags in the back, which should be here actually today at some point. And then we're gonna put gauges in the truck as well and uh, just have it fully set up along with some luxurious comfort features like custom built leather interior for the inside of the truck, which is super expensive, but super comfortable, especially if you're gonna be in this thing for long distance hauling and towing. A comfortable interior just makes a 
big difference. And obviously in these old school pickup trucks, there weren't a lot of interior options. So we're having to make our own. So of course guys, like I already said, these are 17 by nine Anthem Intimidators. And these wheels are a set that we have never tried before. And I've wanted to since they originally came out. Dave with Anthem, I'm not sure what role he plays with Anthem currently, but I know that I've always had a good connection with him, being able to reach out to him. He's super, super personable. Same with Adam. Uh, Adam, thank you so much for always being super quick to respond and answer any of my questions that I have. You guys are awesome over there. Lots of reasons for working with Anthem A, super personable on a friendly level, customer service level, um, just as a company. Like they're right there with you every step of the way. If you ask them for any questions, they give you answers. And I like what the company stands for and what they represent and what they support as a brand. And so if you guys haven't looked into Anthem, definitely check it out, anthemwheels.com. There's always a link in the description below since I pretty much started doing YouTube. There's always been an anthemwheels.com link down there. So definitely go check them out. Do some research on them. I think you guys will like them as well. We haven't done a setup like this since my first truck. And I wanted to set up this truck, like I said, to be a work oriented truck. I didn't want something that was going to be hard to turn, hard to get around, something that threw just tons of rocks unnecessarily all up the side of the truck. And this might still do it just a little tiny bit, but not much. It, you know, the tire doesn't poke out that bad. So I think we're going to be in pretty good shape and that goal will be accomplished with this setup. But it does give it just a little bit of tire poke to give it just a little bit of an aggressive edge to it. And I've wanted to offer this so that for the guys that don't like the big wide deep dish wheels, this is for you. And another reason why we went with this wheel setup for this truck. The 35s do clear on a 17 by nine turning side to side on this truck with stock suspension. But the other thing is too, with the way this flatbed was custom built, it's a great flatbed, but it was not designed for the guys that went to go super wide with stance, if you know what I'm saying. So this flatbed was built more around the guys that are staying either closer to stock size or up to maybe a 10 wide wheel and that's about it. Nothing bigger, otherwise you're gonna have issues with the flatbed and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, in terms of up and down clearance, there's a lot more clearance because we put the lifting blocks in the rear, but just because the lip comes down, that's actually not all the clearance that there is under the bed. Under the bed itself, if you come back over here, there's actually quite a bit of clearance up top, but this is the reason for the 17 by nine and not wider. If you see right in here, you've got all this clearance up and down. I mean, you've got like 10 inches of clearance between the tire and the bed. But if you come out here to where right where the bed and the bed is straight down, it would just clear the tire if it was under a severe load and the bed actually squatted down like, you know, six inches, it would not cut into the tire and rub the tire. And I hope you guys understand that being an issue if we were to go super wide. And I know there was a guy who made a comment a couple videos in a row, he said, oh, just take a grinder and you know cut out the bed and make it so you can make a super wide wheel and tire setup work. I mean, that might be cool and all for some people. I personally don't wanna hack up the bed because it really is a nice flat bed. It just wasn't designed for super wide wheels and tires. So please do let me know what you guys are thinking in the comment section below. I personally love the look of them with this truck. Like I said, guys, you know, I wanted something that's functional for what the purpose of this truck is going to be. And I wanted it to function without interfering with the bed as well. In a size of wheel and tire like this, you can get on and off this thing super easy and you can use it. And even under compression, you know, with a load, it's not going to have a bunch of issues. If I went any wider than this, if I went with a 12 wide, let's say, then if the bed were to compress three, four inches, you'd start to cut into the top of the tire. And even if you went with like a 33 and you went smaller with a wider wheel, you might save yourself like two inches, you know, in terms of overall like uh, clearance, but it's still gonna come with consequences if you're hauling a trailer down the road with a good load and you start hitting bumps and that bed goes up and down like this, it could easily slice into that tire and cause a problem. The way it's set up right now, you wouldn't have to worry about that. It's not crazy stance, but it is a little bit of tire poke. And the only reason why it doesn't look like there's some more tire poke in the rear is because the bed is kind of belled out and it kind of goes out wider than the body lines of the truck. But if you do look down the side, you can see the tire does poke a decent amount just enough to give it a little bit of an aggressive edge. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, guys, check out Anthem Wheels, anthemwheels.com. Link is always in the description below. If you guys want to get entered to win this truck plus $5,000 cash, 
Right now, every $1 gets you one entry for all items on the store except for one item. Mystery boxes still get you 20X entries. Mystery boxes will always get you 20X entries. But for all other items, every $1 is one entry towards winning this truck plus $5,000 cash. So like I said, guys, we've got custom leather interior coming, airbags for the rear, gauges. The thing is gonna be set up as a work truck, and I hope you guys are excited to see the end result. Please leave us some comments down in the comment section below. Leave a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you have not done so yet to keep up with all the videos we post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.